Well, welcome to this tutorial which is going to look at the for each SOP. Now the for each SOP is one of the most complicated in Houdini and it's also one of the most difficult to debug. So if possible, try to avoid using the for each SOP. Quite a lot of the time you can achieve the same effect as the for each SOP by using expressions in the parameters of other SOPs. For example, if we lay down a grid and we do a poly extrude and we want to take it up in the z direction we can in fact use an expression here we could say rand dollar pr and we can see that we now have a different extrusion for each of the boxes or components of this grid. And we've achieved that without using a for each SOP. A for each SOP would allow you to take each primitive in turn and apply a separate extrusion to it. In other words, you would run the equivalent of a for loop across each primitive and extrude each primitive separately, each face in other words. Nevertheless, there are some circumstances where we need to use for each SOP. Well, let's start by looking at the for each SOP. For each SOP has a number of inputs. The main one is this first one, in which your geometry goes. It has three different ways of operating. By default, uh, this setting here, for is set to each group and there's a group mask so you can select and usually these are primitive groups you can select a set of primitive groups using the group mask and then you can run the SOPs inside for each SOP on each of those groups separately and that's what we're going to demonstrate first but before we do so we need to test the SOPs that we're going to put inside this for each node to make sure that they actually work in the way that we want. So to do that I'm going to take our grid and I'm going to reduce it to two rows and two, po two columns which gives us a single primitive. And that will replicate what we're going to do later when we're going to split a more complicated object into single primitives and I want this on the XY plane and what I'm going to try and do is create a balcony type effect on this primitive. So let's start by using a poly extrude and let's inset the face. We can see this better if we go into wireframe mode. Now the inset value I've used here is going to be an absolute value. So it's not relative to the size of the primitive. And that could be a bit dangerous if we're running a number of different primitives through our for each SOP of different sizes. So it's always better to make the values that you put in these nodes that are going to go inside the for each SOP relative to something. For example, the bounding box of the object we're dealing with. Unfortunately, we can do that using an expression. And the expression I'm going to use is 0.1, because I know that the bounding box is 10 by 10 by 10, times max. And then I'm going to have another max expression, because it only accepts two arguments at once. Size x dollar size y and then dollar size z. So what's this what this is doing is taking the maximum of these two and then comparing it to size z and taking the maximum of that. Now size x, size y and size z are variables which contain the size of the bounding box of the object we're dealing with in the x, y, and z direction. So what we're getting here is the maximum dimension of the bounding box. So 
let's have a look and see whether that's worked and we can see that that hasn't changed the inset. The next thing we're going to do is use the poly split tool actually that's, uh, let's just undo that, that doesn't seem to have worked I'm going to use the poly split tool to split the bottom of this polygon and I want to snap to perpendicular, that's already set and let's go over here somewhere now the poly split tool in fact works relative to the length of the edges anyway so we don't need to make that relative to the bounding box now one thing that we can be confident of is that Houdini will approach this process in an identical way each time it applies these nodes so providing we start off with a single primitive the primitive numbers will remain consistent through each loop of the for each sub so every time I do this primitive number 5 will be the bottom uh, part of this split polygon in the middle so let me poly extrude that so we want five as our group which is this bottom shelf and in this case I'm moving it out in the minus Z direction and I'm going to put minus 0.5 times the value that we had earlier which is max max dollar size X dollar size Y dollar size Z and that leaves us with a, a balcony effect so this is what we want to apply to the primitives in our object let's try and do that using the for each sop so I'm going to copy these nodes and note to copy nodes in Houdini you have to right click away from the nodes themselves and select copy and then I'm going to go into the for each sop and I'm going to paste these nodes and then I'm going to select connect rather the each sop into the poly extrude now at the moment this is giving us an error because we haven't got any input so I'm going to lay down another grid and I'm going to make this on the XY plane and I'm going to make this 5 by 5 now in the mode that we're going to use it the for each sop works on groups so we're going to need to split this grid let's just display this grid only we need to split this grid into individual primitives and we can do that using a partition sop and the purpose of a partition sop is to split an object according to a rule which varies across the objects in the group so in this case I'm going to take the primitive number and make the rule let's call the group face dollar PR and what that should do is create a separate group for each face here each primitive with the name face followed by the primitive number and there we have it 15 different groups 15 15 different primitives, one primitive in each group. So let's feed that into our for each sub. And we need to set a group mask. So I'm going to set it at face star, which selects those groups that we've just created. And as we can see, we now have a balcony attached. Let's move out of wireframe mode. We have a balcony attached to each of those primitives. So the for each shop is doing its job.